So I recently bought the newly released Travel Tripod by Peak Design, carbon fiber edition, for $600. Before this, I was using a tripod called Ambico. I found it in my storage closet that my parents must have bought at one of those old Kodak stores in the early 2000s. I tried looking up Ambico online and saw that Amazon had a few sellers priced at around 20 bucks. The Ambico tripod comes with just that, the tripod itself. Nothing more, nothing less. The Peak Design, however, comes in this hard shell case. Inside of that, it has a weatherproof soft case, and inside of that will come the tripod. The carbon fiber by Peak Design feels very solid on my hands, weighs about 2.5 pounds. It just feels strong, whereas the Ambico, it feels kind of bendy and a little lighter at about 2 pounds in my hands. The Ambico Compact, its height is about 1 feet 7 inches tall, whereas the Peak Design Compacted comes in at about 1 feet 2 inches tall. When both are fully extended, the Ambico comes at 4 feet 3 inches tall and the Peak Design can go as tall as 5 feet 1 inches. I won't go into full detail of everything the Peak Design can do, but it can go inverted to get an overhead shot, it has a 180 degree ball head, the ability to shoot in portrait mode, and a built in mobile mount where you can clip your phone to the tripod. Peak Design uploaded a video where they explain everything you can do with the tripod that I'll link down below. The Ambico comes with a fluid ball head that you can grip to pan vertical and horizontal, and that's it. I carry my gear inside my Kobe backpack and the Ambico Compacted is way too big. It takes up way too much real estate, whereas the Peak Design is very small and takes up hardly any space in my backpack. I'm pretty sure if I were to John Jones oblique kick the Ambico's tiny legs, it would snap in half. Whereas the Peak Design, just because it's so sturdy and it's carbon fiber, pretty sure it could take a mean leg kick and not give any of the bendy tripod legs. So can I justify top tripod brands like Manfrotto, Peak Design, etc. to charge $600 plus for a tripod? Yes and no. You have to ask yourself this. Do I plan on traveling a lot with this tripod? Do I need something sturdy where if someone bumps into my tripod, it won't fall over easily? Something I can take self-portrait, it can hold a heavy cinema camera, and more. Yeah, I guess get a well-built, expensive tripod. But if you don't plan on traveling with this tripod, don't need to worry about someone bumping into your tripod and plan on filming just in your own home, getting static shots, then the Ambico's perfect for you. Matter in fact, get something cheaper than the Ambico. You're pretty sure you can find like a $5 tripod from China on Amazon. Don't let these companies trick you with big words and neat little features that don't mean anything. At the end of the day, a tripod is meant to go on a flat surface, you put your camera on top of it, and you press record. There's nothing special. Be a smart shopper. I'm Steven. See you later. All this was new to me. Started so casually, not that we had agreed, there'd be no exclusivity.